how about this? A spray can, see? And you spray it on dog poo, and the poo disappears. Disappears? Yes! Uh, where does it go? Who knows? Envy is a good movie. IMO. I am HO. Envy is not nearly as bad as the 8% rating on Rotten Tomatoes would indicate. 8% on Rotten Tomatoes. How did that happen? There are some flaws, but it's nowhere near as bad as those scores would indicate. Uh, the reviews pulverized it back when it came out. It doesn't really know what it is for a little bit. Um, if, you're, if you're just kind of reviewing this film, right, it kind of tries the satire, it kind of tries dark comedy, and it, then it tries the classic like slapstick Jack Black type humor. And yeah, it tries that's to all there. Yeah, it tries to combine them into one. And you know what, like we love Jack Black and Ben Stiller's all right. So it's like we, <laughs> we have like, we kind of have a bias towards getting this and like being cool with this style. It, it probably didn't work for some people, which does make sense. And, and it is Jack Black being Jack Black. It's Jables. It's, he's got his own kind of brand of humor that I guess you either like it or you don't. Yeah. Um, I, and I believe you are as well, are, are, we, you know, we are big Tenacious D fans. You know what time it is, kids? Not really, what time? I'll tell you, but we're not. It's Tenacious D time, you motherfucker dog. Fuck yeah! So the, the premise in general, like the, the way it started off, I, the backdrop of the struggling middle class working man is, you know, one that we've seen time and time again. They start off similar. It's clear that they're painted as different guys, right? Ben Stiller is the classic straight man, where Jack Black is, they even hit it on the nose a few times, the dreamer of, of the two of them. Yeah, they're best friends who live across the street, work at the same factory, pretty mundane jobs. Whoa, sit back. Oh, this is some chair. You like it? Yeah. I'm telling you, Nick, you get your focus even into the orange? Yeah. Just the orange. I guarantee you can have a chair like that. Sees a dog shitting. And immediately he's like, oh, we should get rid of that dog shit. Yeah. And he, it's, he comes up with the, the name before the actual invention, Vaporize. Vaporize. Very clever name. You hear it a lot. There's a lot of shit jokes in the movie. That's, that's probably something that critics justifiably took issue with when it first came out. <laughs> I feel like people expect it to be like a smarter movie than it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It, it's, a, it's fun, it's kind of fun. Like, I mean, we got, um, we have some divisive opinions on the movie Pootie Tang, as we've seen in our comment section before, but like, uh, it's, it's probably in the ballpark of, if you wanna have fun with it and if you really get it right away, you're probably gonna enjoy it. But if it's not really your kind of humor and you don't really, you know, it doesn't vibe with you, then you're not gonna enjoy it. This is better than Pootie Tang. I'll just say it. <laughs> Come at us. This is better than Pootie Tang. Envy is better than Pootie Tang. The invention that Jack Black comes up with, absolutely ridiculous, doesn't make any sense in, in it's almost like there's a fantasy element implanted yeah. into this otherwise reality-based movie. When Jack Black hits it big and all of a sudden his house is a mansion in the same location yeah, on yeah. a plot of land that seems to have expanded and taken up like neighboring plots of land. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and, 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 like there are a couple things like that where they really try to get a lot done and they try to blend a lot of stuff. Um, was it ambitious or was it just lazy writing? Don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm more in the camp they're trying to do a lot and it was ambitious so I'll, I'll reward them for that listen and i want you to be honest has corky become a nuisance not no. one bit because natalie keeps saying keep the corral closed but corky's so crazy about your apples i don't know what to do ben stiller is the one the envious guy who's driven by jack black's success right his character is really not having this he kind of gets freaked out very insecure his wife is also very like upset about the fact that Ben Stiller did not grab onto this success and yeah. achieve, achieve. He didn't go in with, uh, with Jack Black's idea. Exactly. So that envy just builds and builds, and then we kind of lose it. Yeah, yeah. It's really only for like the first half of the movie, and then the rest of it is, is guilt. The movie could just be called Guilt. Ben Stiller accidentally kills Jack Black's horse. Inspired. The horse Corky. 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 Yeah inspired uh, through a half, half-baked, super drunken rant from Christopher Walken's character. Oh, Christopher Walken, yeah. Wearing a yeah. nightmarish wig. Yeah. <laughs> that is 
That is Crypt Keeper-esque. Yeah, so they, uh, he's got to get rid of the... the... He's got to get rid of the horse. <laughs> so he buries it in his backyard. And we talked about this, how that kind of seems like a, a proverb or an idiom that doesn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't actually exist. Don't bury your neighbor's horse. You should never bury your neighbor's horse. Yeah. Like, there were not a lot of knee slapper moments in this. It was a lot more just like, oh, a fun story with, like, zany characters involved. Well, also, Ben Stiller is just playing the same straight man that he always, you know, at least used to do. He's the same guy in Meet the Parents. Um, he's, yeah, he's, uh, he's Gaylord Fokker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the duplex? Mm -hmm. Just straight man, not really. Frustrated. Nothing really character, uh, nothing really character-y about him. There's a theme song that runs throughout the movie that sounds very kind of Randy Newman-esque. Not the vocals, but everything else. Don't covet what your neighbor's got. Wine and lack of big have not. Your life will turn to diddly squat. And everything will rot. And raise. Just the whole, like, the hum humdy dum kind of yeah, rhythm to yeah. it. Envy. And it's just like, it's kind of weird uh, choices uh, where they place that in, but whatever. Yeah. Um, it's nice to see like a, a movie having a theme, like an old classic. Uh, Ted did that too. Uh, like the same theme. We are so lucky and we have so, so, so much. And I feel like we need to give something back. So I've decided I'm going to run for Congress state senate or whatever and my main platform is going to be the environment i think what happened was people were sick of ben stiller you know he had been in a lot of comedies around that time as the same kind of leading boring guy uh I think mixed with the fact that people didn't really understand Jack Black's Jack Black's sense of humor yet. Fresh off School of Rock, correct? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think or those two things combined. Adjacent. Yeah, I think those two things combined is kind of what made the critics dislike it because the movie itself is good. I guess they released it because they released it in theaters only because of uh, uh, School of Rock. They wanted to see if they could tap into some of that. Yeah, money. Jack Black did very well at School of Rock, which is a classic. I heard you in music class. You guys can really play. Why didn't anyone tell me, you? I used to go to my grandparents' house as a kid, and they had one DV, they had one movie there, and that was Envy. <laughs> so I probably watched it every time I went to my grandparents' because that was the only movie they had. That was the one, that was the one option. <laughs> that was the one option. Oh, man. For my... Was it? I think for my grandparents, it was um, Tommy Boy and Major League. So Major League, what is that? Like a slapsticky 80s comedy. Also, coincidentally, with a little Randy Newman in the beginning intro. Oh. Um, just kind of like a Charlie Sheen. You got a friend in, in me. You got a friend in me. Oh. I love L.A. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, I've never seen a movie use a... Uh, obscure dessert as a plot device mm -hmm. quite like this movie did. Come on, kids, flood time! Here you guys, get down there, the flood's here! Flood kids, flood! I love flan. You love flan. What is flan? Oh my god! Oh, you are god, in such a treat. You don't know flan? Yeah, which I didn't even know flan. I didn't even know flan was a thing. I'd heard about it once in the past, but kind of buried it away. But in the movie, it sounds like it's a fake thing. It sounds... They make it seem like it's fake, like it's not real. I actually did. That was one part I laughed my ass off that at. That was funny, yeah. Amy Poehler really makes it better. Guys, fun to the table! Fun! 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 Yay, fun! Fun! What's fun? Tell you what, if you... This movie is full of some, some very weird, sometimes nonsensical, but always entertaining Christopher Walkenisms. Yep. Some of those lines, yep. goddamn. Goddamn. But he he was a funny guy and a funny character in general. Weirdo. You try it. You try it. Well, you like uh, Robin Hood. No, it's 
we're we're both off and we're off in different directions. Yeah, if, if we combine absolutely. if we combine what we both have here, we could be a functional yeah, walk-in. Yeah. <laughs> See if we can find a voice mixing app. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Screw Robin Hood, you hear me? Screw the merry men, you're a stinko pinko. No, overall it's a, it's a good movie. I like this movie. I, I I'm not even like saying that it's okay. I think it's good. Yeah, if you're into Jack Black humor, if you like a little Christopher Walken mixed in, and you're interested in a plot that zips around and does demand a little bit of attention for a movie that's a pretty fun movie, it's for you. If you do not like Jack Black, stay the fuck away. Yeah, I would, I would say the same. Yeah, you can pass on this if you don't like Jack Black. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I would leave it as well. Is the only his character in this movie is the only guy who I've seen use his money to build that side bowling alley in his house since uh, Daniel Day Lewis and their yeah, blood. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think Jack Black drinks a few more milkshakes though. And so as I said. I always thought Flan was a fake thing. They certainly made it seem that way in the movie. But uh, as it turns out, we went across the street and got some Flan, and we're going to eat it for you. Had to do it. For the fans, of course. For the Flans. Go fuck, go fuck yourself. Flan one. Oh. Flan, flan one. Is there spoons? Do, we need, flan do two. I need to get a spoon? Do I need spoons? Yeah, need we're going to need spoons. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Like a like an upside down pudding cup with a uh, a more solid bottom and top. This looks awful, dude. This looks awful. It looks like I just put like cat food that I just undumped. <laughs> don't do don't do that to me. It tastes like pancake batter. With the syrup on it. With syrup. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I actually don't like this. I'm not, I <laughs> I'm not a picky eater or anything. I just don't. I don't know if I could. Yeah. I'll take another bite. It's okay. It's all right. No, Flan's, I don't like Flan. 